I have a confession that I need to make to you. I used to have this intense fear of poverty. Now, that makes sense because I used to be a welfare kid, and so I've overcome that. I wanna share with you my cue on how to overcome the fear of poverty. Hello, my name is Steven Garner. Welcome to Next Cue. I'm gonna share with you my direction for your life. I call it my cues for living a great life. People mistakenly say that money is the root of all evil. They misquote the passage 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, which basically says the love of money is the root of all evil, not money in and of itself. Money is amoral, it's a tool. In fact, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, it basically says, remember the Lord thy God, it is he that gives you power to get your wealth. If money was evil, why would he give it to you? Money basically is the currency that helps us to sustain our lives. So it's not evil. Since fear is a state of mind, the fear of poverty is a state of mind. And depending on our education about money, we will travel down one or two paths, the path of scarcity or the path of abundance. So the path of abundance looks like this. A person will see the effects of poverty and say, you know what, I'm going to fight against that. A person will say to themselves, you know what, I'm going to overcome scarcity by creating opportunities for myself. Experts say that money management is 20% knowledge, 80% behavior. I like to break the knowledge into two parts. 5% is information and 15% is planning. The 5% information is the data that you get from other smart money managers, people who know how to overcome poverty, people who know how to manage their money well. The 15% is now taking that information and putting it into a plan of action. Your plan must have goals for every dollar. Those goals are in alignment with your life's purpose. So you're spending your money because you have a purpose not because you're just trying to gratify your appetite. So at the end of the day, whatever you do, you're not going to bankrupt your life because you spent your money frivolously. The next part is the 80% behavior. Execute, practice, stop beating up on yourself if you fall short, don't count your mistakes, use them as a reference, you keep going because now you have information, you have a plan, you are basing your behavior on your life's purpose and your dollars are supporting you to achieve that purpose in life. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Next cue.